Hey kiddos, we've been doing lots of talk about measurement using standard and non-standard measuring units. And today we're gonna to put all of that to the test because we're gonna start looking at perimeter. Now perimeter means the outside of an object or measuring the distance around something. So it could be measuring the distance around your yard to build a fence, or it could be measuring the distance around your body to make a dress. But today we're gonna to look at two different ways that you can measure using standard and non-standard measurement. We're going to start with non-standard measurement, and for this activity, we're going to be using something you probably have seen before, graph paper. Okay, so when we're using our non-standard unit, we know that each unit has to still be the same. For this activity in measuring the perimeter, we're going to be using these squares, and more importantly, the square side lengths. So this is my first object that I am going to measure perimeter for. So I'm gonna go around the outside counting all of these side lengths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I know for the blue shape, the perimeter equals 14. Now, you may be wondering why I put these funny marks around the outside. For a shape like this, you might not have to because it's really obvious that you've counted all sides. But when we move on to our not so normal shape, it's gonna be really important that you make sure you get all of these little corners. So let's give it a go. One, two, three, don't forget this one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is a tricky area. 17, 18. So for the purple shape, my perimeter equals 18. We're gonna use the same standard measurement we would use if we were measuring length. We're gonna use centimeters. You could also use meters or maybe even inches, but we're gonna to stick to centimeters. When we're measuring perimeter, it's important to remember that we need to measure all side lengths. So I know that right now this only has two measurements, but we know something important about rectangles and squares, and that is that this side length is the same over here. So I'm just gonna fill that in really quick. And I also know that the bottom one will be the same as the top. So now, if I'm going to measure all four side lengths, I need to add all of them together. And this is a little different than with non-standard measurement. With non-standard measurement, you need to count all the bases as you go. With standard measurement, the numbers are all right there for us right away. So let's start by adding the two fours together, the top and the bottom. We know that that gives me eight centimeters. And then we measure the two sides, the six and the six which I know gives me 12 centimeters. Now we need to add those two measurements together, the eight and the 12. So eight, nine, 10, carry the one, gives me 20. So when I look at this shape, it means that the perimeter is equal to 20 centimeters. That's all four side lengths added together. If I was gonna build a fence for this yard, I would know that I would need 20 centimeters of fencing. Sometimes our shapes aren't as nice and even as this one here. Sometimes they get a little funny looking. It's really important when you're dealing with shapes that are irregular and not perfect squares that you don't forget any of these little sides or corners. So let's start with the ones that are very obvious and that's this one and this one are two sixes. equals 12. So we know we have 12 so far. I'm gonna cross those out because I've already used them. Now let's go up this side. My first side length is a two. Then I see four. And then this one's written on the inside. But we see that that is a three. So let's add those together. So we have eight, nine, now that we've got our answer, we should cross those ones out. So we get that one, that one, and that one. And now we need, okay, so now we need to do the rest of the side lengths. And remember, we can't forget any of them. 
So we've got one here, one here, and one here. So that's a pretty easy calculation. I know that that equals three. And now I need to add my three numbers together. So 12 plus nine plus three. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Carry that one, 20. So I know that the perimeter of this shape equals 24 centimeters. And it's really important that you put the unit of measure. So we use centimeters for both of these. But if you were trying to build something and you were doing the perimeter and they didn't tell you what they were measuring in, you could end up having 24 centimeters when you really needed 24 meters and that would be not good. So don't forget to add that measurement. So below is a Google form for you to fill out and there are some perimeter questions for you to give a try yourself. Good luck and have a great day. Bye.